idiot that is me has managed to get stuck in some mud somewhere where I just went slightly beyond where I should have done driving having seen a car come out and thought oh I can turn around here and then got stuck I've got a couple of guys trying to help me get out but at the moment no luck <laughs> In my last video I was headed north from just south of Angoulême, heading to the Loire to do some sightseeing on my way back to Brittany. I've mentioned before that there's airs in most towns in France. This one was free and I had some editing to do so stayed two nights and had this awesomely coloured sky on the second night. From there I went exploring. I had a few spots on my list in the area and was hoping I'd have the time and energy to fit most of them in. Chinon is in the heart of the Val de Loire, on the banks of the Vienne just before it joins the Loire River. The historic town has an interesting architectural mixture, from the medieval castle and buildings to those built at the beginning of the Renaissance, when the Loire Valley was the seat of the king's court. That is a very big flag. Possibly the biggest I've ever seen. Crazy. Wow, look at this place with the stairs inside. That's cool. There's a cat just making itself comfortable right in the middle. I'd have that like debate all the time, which side of the stairs do you go up? I don't know. Hey little one. Are you friendly? Can I? No? Okay. That's fine, I don't always want to be touched either. As usual, I enjoyed the varied architecture and finding random old doors, but it was pretty noisy between the traffic and building works in the town. I can only tolerate noisy places for so long before I get overwhelmed and need to get out of there. I found a small patch of nature to calm me down, but unfortunately it was right by a busy junction, so soon after that I retreated back to the van. On my way, I did find a slightly lost old British phone box. These narrow streets don't allow caravans or motorhomes to drive down them, and as I headed down them, I could see why. Sometimes you just have to pull over for a wee look when there's a castle like this right beside the road. Okay, that's really cool. There's a spider and uh, an insect of some sort. Sculptures hanging from the rocks. I'll show you guys. It's really cool. <laughs> I 
there's also some bats hanging around in there. Oh, look, there's one behind me. Um, it's basically cool sculptures along this route in whatever town I'm currently in. Maybe I'll like paste it in here because having one of those days of trying to see a few different things and haven't stored all the names of places in my head. Mm, that's cool. Everywhere does seem a bit closed, but oh well. Okay, I'm in Turquoise, possibly, <laughs> if that's how you say it. I like this bat. <laughs> he looks like he's been hanging out for a while. The feet seem to be made from forks, and I guess they're made from old serving trays and things. This one is made from old pans and stuff as well. Um, trying to decide, it looks a bit grasshopper-ish now. Uh, some kind of beetle? Bug? Who knows? <laughs> um, I started this video for a reason and now I'm like, I don't know, but I'm looking at something cool. It's like a little old water well thing in the bob. Oh, there's a squirrel in the tree. Not a real one, another sculpture. <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> it's not even real, but it's cute. This was what caught my attention before the squirrel. I don't know. Maybe it used to be water or something. I don't know. Someone that knows, let me know if anyone knows. It looks cool though. Something pleasing about the shapes. Right, so why did I um, stop filming? <laughs> oh, I walked into a spider's web. Yes, I'm not on a very busy route. All well, the spiders have been very busy today. Yeah, I can't remember why I um, started, wanted to stop filming. I was going to tell you guys something or have a chat with myself on camera. <gasps> I've seen another creature in a tree ahead. And a sign about boats. I have a few people in my life that are very into boats, so I feel like it would be a shame to miss this. Oh look, it's in English. How unusual. Oh, that saves my tired brain. So I'm currently trying to decide where I'm headed. Like, it's an owl! Okay guys, I just I can't get a sentence out without getting distracted. An owl in the tree. Oh, whoever's made these has made me very happy. All right, I'm on like take four, five, who knows by now. Um, oh, vineyards. No, guys, I can't. <laughs> I can't seem to focus right now. Um, and a blackbird ahead. I see now I see blackbirds all the time, but they're quite beautiful. It's the little, it's the dark and the little bright eye. Focus, Kiki. Right. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm distracted by things, look. <laughs> I wonder if they smell. No. <laughs> I hope I'm not allergic to them. <laughs> just seen another creature. Guys, I'm not, this is not really happening right now. Maybe I'll just do it again in a minute. It's another owl. original plan this week was to get to this area that I'm in right now that's called something. <laughs> um, my brain is working really well this, at the moment guys. Um, and I was going to explore a little bit and also go to a mushroom cave place because I thought that sounded really cool. It was one of the places that came up on my radar when I was doing research. Oh a bench, maybe if I uh, don't walk I won't get distracted by more things. Um, <laughs> it was one of the places that came up on my research before coming to France, but it wasn't open until the end of February. It is open at the moment and I wanted to go, but original plan was to not end up going on a Saturday. But it's Friday today and I'm about 20 minutes down the road and it's already like half four. Basically in this area there's loads of cool caves. I call them troglodytes. I love saying that. I think that's how it's said. It, it, it feels nice in my mouth when I say it. There's certain words I like to say. Um, troglodytes. That's fun. I also like to say mojito in Zimbabwe. You have to try it in Zimbabwe. It feels nice in the mouth. Um, I worked with someone from Zimbabwe when I was, I don't know, 17, 18, which is how I discovered this. Yeah. 
so distracted today. I think I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just wander back to the van, um, explore this little village a tiny bit more, and then make the decision as I drive through the next town slash city as to how busy it looks and whether I can tolerate that. We shall see. Look at the eyes on this one, it's awesome. It's a big one here. <laughs> Right, I'm here. Turcon, possibly. This is where I was talking about going. The mushroom place is somewhere up here. Earlier I was here. This morning I was, I think, somewhere along here and popped into this place for shops before heading over there. And then I'm going to head that way. There's remnants of an old building here. Look at these, the shapes. Whoa, look at that. I'm going to be cold when I get back to the UK, if I get used to this kind of temperature. <laughs> Idiot that is me has managed to get stuck in some mud somewhere where I just went slightly beyond where I should have done driving. Apparently this bit floods when the river's high, so no wonder it's this muddy, but it's kind of loud, Kiki. This is my nervous face as the van was getting rather close to some trees behind it. So yeah, I'm not driving at this point. I actually let someone else into my van. But it did mean I got a few moments of video of the drama. The big mess that I just made with stream. Um, God, honestly, if I'd realised, well, I wouldn't have come down here. Usually I check the ground before driving on it if it looks soft, and I didn't, and this is what happens. And um, yeah, I could have turned around between these trees, it probably would have been fine, but the guys have got me back onto relatively solid ground, so let's see if I can get out of here now. She slipped a little at first, but nothing major, and then I was on my way again and off to my park up just down the river, on a natural road this time. I am now safely down the road, and uh, I'm just really, really grateful for the fact that there was someone there that saw that I went a little bit too far and went, she's going to get stuck, and um, that was also able to go get other people, and that everyone was just so willing to help. I hate being that, like woman that needs help from a load of men to get out of something, but it literally just needed more people to give the van a bit of a push whilst also getting a little bit of a pull from a car that honestly I'm not sure whether that helped or not but I was very very grateful. I um, I saw like the car to get quite close to me and it wasn't on the best ground itself and my van is a lot heavier than a car so yeah but it might have just helped put it a little bit and then a load of us pushing and I did. There was one point when I was pushing, so I wasn't filming, but it was a bit where I think I managed to get a little snippet of film. And then um, then I just had a nice chat with the first guy that came to help out and that went off to find other people to help push the van. I'm thinking that I should have two sets of mats and maybe a different type um, in terms of getting the van off something. Because the van rolled forwards onto the mats, but it was only like slightly on them, so I kind of needed another set to put behind it because sometimes you need to kind of shuffle and if one set gets stuck then you can't put them anywhere else to get off anything so yeah I'm, I'm thinking um, maybe a second set of, of mats and also that I don't want to change vans anytime soon nor can I afford to change vans anytime soon but I think when I do finally end up changing vans I need a 4x4 <laughs> because I'm always going to end up driving into things and then going oh beep <laughs> uh, <laughs> because yeah 
I'm always like, oh no, that looks like, no, that's not okay. Usually I'm sensible enough to check, but yeah, sometimes I just get the van stuck. And it's just like, so close to being fine. It's just a weird noise coming from the tree. Um, and then instead I'm just totally stuck. So yeah, that was slightly less stressful than uh, it would have been if I'd been on my own. I was honestly looking at the trees around trying to calculate how much climbing rope I have, like tree climbing rope, and not that I'm going to go climb the trees, but I was trying to think about how many pulleys I have, and nowhere near enough, definitely. Plenty of rope, not enough pulleys. Because um, I was trying to work out how I would get myself off there. Like if I didn't have like four, I think there were four of us pushing at one point, and the guy that, that, that found me first, that's that lorry driver and was helping out, um, he offered to to drive it um because yeah i i was like i can't move the seat but yeah if you want to after lots and lots of attempts from me he was like i'll do this bit i was like yeah okay <laughs> it was actually sometimes i find people condescending when they offer to do things for me but he wasn't at all it was just very much like i might be able to help so i took that <laughs> help <laughs> very gratefully um but yeah, I was trying to figure out how I'd have got out of there otherwise. Other than going off to find someone with a tractor. <laughs> oh man. It's madness. I think I've just got the worst of the mud off my trainers and now I am uh, scraping some of it out of the tread of my tyres because... Okay, I can't do this with my hands this way around. Oh, there we go. Um, because otherwise I lose my grip. <laughs> this tyre seems to be the one that is the worst. I was going to wash my hair tonight and I'm wondering whether I have the energy. Maybe I'll do it first thing in the morning. Because it's the temperature's dropping now, so wet hair not always the best idea in the evening. Not that it's cold, but I do want to give my hands a really good scrub because they feel kind of gross. But yeah, so maybe hair wash in the morning. Stay tuned for some slightly unusual scenes coming up in my next video whilst I have another touristy day in the Loire. Oh, and there's some more fun with vehicles stuck in mud too. Even though I'm still wading through my France content, I'm back in Scotland and back to work already. So my videos will be every fortnight for the next few months. Hopefully this way I can keep doing regular videos even with being knackered trying to earn some proper money.